Hello guys, welcome back to my next video on creating simple web page template in Photoshop. In this video, I will be continuing from the place where we left earlier. In previous video, we have completed our header and slider section. So let's resume our design. Now we need to create a feature section. To create this section, just create a heading. Use the font robot contents as we used earlier in the slider section and since the font size is about to 30 pixel and place your heading into the center I want to create a guide from the top so that I can place my header in the correct position and thus height will be consistent in each section so like that now we need to create subheading so create a text box and just paste the dummy text Now, the resize the text, font size, and make the text look good like that. Okay, looks fine. Now, create a guide. And now, we need to create three sections for our features. So, change the width to about 360 pixel and create three spaces and for the inner padding now create a new group for the column and create a new layer in this layer set the width and height about 131 by 131 and create a box for the icon fill it with the light color light gray now just I want to check if it is in the center or not okay perfect now let's create a heading for the column so create a new layer and type your heading for first column just like fully responsive now change the font size to about let's say 20 pixel looks fine create a guide and place your text into the center now again we need a new text box for text so create the text and a button like that and just for the rest of the things just duplicate and copy and paste okay now feature section is complete now we need services section to create services section just copy and paste the feature section and I want the height of about 80 pixel is above that will be the margin on the top so place like that now just change the text of the heading and remove the unnecessary areas then let's create some rectangles create two rectangles one for the image and one for the text and just put the image above the rectangle and create clipping layer marks now create a new layer and type the heading for the first services section since the font size 
20 pixel looks good place some text and buttons you can copy the button from the top from the above features section okay once you completed that group all the layer into a single layer called services one now just for the rest of the thing just duplicate again select both the layers both the groups and just duplicate it and place it right there but maybe we want to rotate these things so just transform and flip horizontal but the text are also flipped we don't want the text to be flipped so select the text text box from each group <coughs> and transform it control D and flip horizontal now what happened is the text of the one box is appeared onto another box so place them in their correct position just find the box press ctrl t and place it right there okay now looks perfect so change the group name to services now we need to create our subscribe section we don't have enough canvas space so increase the height of our document by 3000 pixel set it to 3000 pixel now create a new group subscribe create a new layer inside it and just select the height like that and fill it with the dark gray color create a heading for the subscribe section just like that just we want to pull it little bit down so that it looks good now this is the font size also write the subheading now place both of them into the correct position like that on the left now we need an input field for the email of the subscribe section so select a rounded rectangle tool and the radius of about 50 pixel and just create a rounded rectangle like that now change the color to white duplicate it and again change the color to something like that just type the text subscribe and change the font size about 14 pixel looks good maybe bold is good ok that looks good now place it to the right okay that's good now select the previous rounded rectangle tool and we want to remove the part outside of the subscribe button so just select that area and hit ctrl x now that's perfect
okay now let's begin our contact us section first of all group all the layer of the subscribe section and so create a footer section and just like above create a contact us heading now we need a rectangle for the form field so create a rectangle of height about 40 pixel like that and just stretch it a little bit more okay that looks good change the background color now create a new layer for the name likewise you can create a lot of more fields like name mail message and create a button like send feedback okay now the next thing we need is to create some social icon <coughs> to do this find an image from the google just select and cut out the cut out only the required things and arrange them okay next thing we need a google map so search a map find and bring it into photoshop so first of all create a new layer inside the google map box and in that layer we want to create a rectangle like that just adjust it correctly okay now press hold back space and fill it with the dark color now select the google map and create clipping layer mask make sure that your google map is above the rectangle section I want to move the social icons below the map so place it right there and looks good now the last thing is our copyright section so create a group copyright and create a new layer inside it and change the height of about 80 pixel so create a guide now select the area and fill it with the dark gray color that is x222 okay now let's create some text for copyright change the color to white Or maybe we should change it to little darker like ccc or even darker like 999 okay that looks good now place it correctly into the left now for the link section just copy and paste the left text and pull it to the right and just create the links like that and control T to transform it and place it into the right position correctly okay that's good okay now everything is complete just we need some icons for the slider click for scrolling left and right so create a group and a layer inside it name it slide button and we want to create a guide at the center of the slider and now take rectangle on mark tool and 
create a rectangle like that fill it with the black color change the opacity now again we need an icon the way we can do it we can just copy and paste the icon from the <coughs> explore mode just pull it right there and transform it to look like that okay that looks good maybe we can change the opacity of the icon a little bit more so find it and change the opacity uh, maybe 50 percent okay it's good we can also change the opacity of the box little less so maybe 30 percent is good for the right button just copy and paste it Control z to duplicate now Control t to transform it and flip it horizontal and pull it to the right and place it right there okay looks good we need to place icons into the box we created earlier find icon from the google and place the icon right there and just remove the background okay change the color of the icon to maybe like that color which is our logo color just after doing same thing for rest of the column you can get the output like that now for the services section you can change the heading of each section inside the services just like that and change the color of some box like that now find some images and replace each of the images with the new images and that will look so cool make sure that the image is above the rectangle layer where you are placing and create it a clipping layer mask so that it does not come outside of that rectangle now everything looks fine okay that's good we have completed our design of the template that's all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching by this we have completed our design of the template hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe and with your comments thank you